Hello Tiddlers, how are you doing? It's John here and it's Tiddler story time again. But as usual, we're going to sing our Tiddlers song first. Can you remember how it goes? Let's see. Hello Tiddlers, how are you? Nice to see that you're here too. Wave up high, wave down low. Clap your hands and away we go. <gasps> It'll be nice when we can meet up properly, won't it? Sing properly again, have a snack together, play together. <gasps> it's going to be super duper good. Well, today we're going to think a little bit about the sun. Think how God sends the sun to fill our lives with warmth and light and hope and joy. It's just so nice when the sun's out, isn't it? It makes everything just sparkly and, and clean and beautiful and better than when it's not. We, we love the light. So I'm going to tell us a little story about just how good it is to see the light in the darkness. There was a little rabbit and she was having a lovely day. She was playing in the woods with her friends. They played a game of hide and seek and she knew a great place to hide. So she ran and 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 she hid right inside the trunk of an old oak tree. And she stayed there and she stayed there and she stayed there. But what she didn't realise is she'd gone so far that her friends couldn't find her. It started to get dark. She started to feel lonely and sad and a bit scared. And she curled up in a ball, feeling very worried. But her friends loved her. They weren't going to give up. As it started to get dark, they got a torch and they came through the woods shouting, bunny, bunny, bunny. And she heard them and she saw the light of their torch and she ran and together they all went home for a lovely feast of cake and crisps and fruit and ice cream and delicious things. You see, we, we hate the idea of being lost in the darkness like that bunny. It's a terrible thing to be lost and alone in the dark. And God sends us light. Every morning he sends the sun to shine and warm the world so that we know that we're not alone, so that we know we're not lost in the darkness. God is like that. He is a God of light and a God of warmth and a God who wants to fill our darkness with his light and his hope his joy. So maybe at this time of year when things are often quite cold and quite grey, maybe on those days when the sun comes out and you see the blue sky and everything is sparkling and beautiful, maybe you can go out and look around at the flowers coming up and the, the leaves coming on the bushes and the plants and think God is full of warmth and light and life. He is a God who loves us and who sends the sun after the dark, who sends the spring after the winter, who brings all things to life and light again. Ah, oh, it's exciting. Well, bye for now and we'll see you next time. Bye.